I've been experimenting with not packing like me. So I have been doing what I'm calling and uh, I've done this a couple of times this year. Uh, really pleased with the result. I used the concept when I went away to stay with, you know, to visit a friend recently in the Channel Islands. Now I went over for two nights, but I had three days there. If I was going to, um, didn't have the rail so I could plan things out, one of the things that I used to do was actually create a grid on a piece of paper and put my tops down one side, bottoms down the other, along the top, and then put a cross in against each top, making sure it would go with each of the bottoms, or at least two of them. Two jackets, one neutral, one coloured. This is linen and so slightly smarter, so I could use it for smarter things like going out in the evening. And then this is for, this was thicker, so if it was cold, I could wear that. One one striped t-shirt, casual wear. One smarter, newer boat neck navy t-shirt. And one casual oversized black and ivory t-shirt. And then white jeans, which you could replace this with white shorts or with white linen trousers. Just the, the weather was jeans weather. And one pair of black trousers, which in my case, I took a pair of joggers with, that are a shiny material so I could wear these for evening as well as daytime. Then for go traveling, out of this, to travel, I wore the heaviest trousers, which was the white jeans, and the jacket that I didn't want to crease, which was gonna be the linen jacket. So I wore those two with the casual day wear striped T-shirt. And then, these days, people don't really dress up for evening, do they? Unless you're gonna go out to dinner. If I knew I was gonna go out for a late dinner, I would have added a dress maybe to this, this outfit or a this capsule or a blouse but I knew I wasn't so casual evening early evening meal I wore the same thing then the next day I wanted a complete change of outfit because I was seeing the same people again and you know you, you do you want to change don't you want you want to look different so I wore the joggers with the ivory and black oversized t-shirt and the denim jacket then for that evening we were going to go out again for an early evening meal so I swapped the jacket out and put my linen jacket with the joggers and with the uh, ivory and black t-shirt so it looked different it looked like I'd smartened up a little bit you know that for a casual early evening supper so I'm not wearing exactly the same thing so that was a different look and then the next day sightseeing again and then traveling back late afternoon and for that I used a combination of of the white jeans again, again because they're the heaviest item that I wanted to actually wear them back again. And I used my navy Bowden t-shirt but popped over the peach jacket this time to, um, you know, to wear for the day and travel back in. I wasn't worried that time going back about you know the linen jacket getting creased because I was going to take it home and wash it. For the whole trip I wore just trainers because uh, the weather was was not sandals weather. Now it could also initially have been that it was warmer and I would have worn for the whole trip Birkenstocks. I don't mind that. I can wear Birkenstocks. I love Birkenstocks. I would wear Birkenstocks. I would wear them out in the evening as well. I would wear them for the whole trip. The weather was sneaker weather so I wore trainers and uh, obviously wearing them out you don't have to carry them. So I really do cut down on what I take. Now jewellery I didn't want to get set off the beeper beepers as I go through the you know the thing at the airport so I packed my jewellery but I just packed one necklace one pair of earrings and one bracelet and my watch and I wore that once I arrived at the hotel put it on it stayed on until I had to then leave so keeping jewellery minimal as well I don't take a day moisturizer sun cream or um, foundation as separate items as much as I can, I try and condense those into one product. So I would often take, will often take Ultra Sun because those three are condensed, those, you know, it's tinted, it's a sun cream, factor 50, and it's also a uh, skincare as well. So those three in one, one tube. I will then maybe, if I've got some of those sachets you can get, you know, those for the, for the, for a moist nighttime moisturizer, I'll try to do that, but I will take an extra separate no nighttime moisturizer but either decant it into a little pot or if I've got sachets, take the sachets. Makeup's minimal, I'm just gonna show you. I'm just about to demonstrate this makeup look that I have created this morning using minimal products that I would take away with me. 
So it's a handful, handful of items, handful of items. I've just got one on the floor, but let, right, let's get on with it anyway. So as I said, I kind of um, ignore all the peripheries. I'm not going for concealer. I'm not going to hide the yellow around my eyes. Um, it is absolutely minimum that I'm gonna actually have a makeup. It's still gonna look like a makeup look. So, moisturizer on. So I'm using a combination of sun cream and foundation and HelioCare. My other option would be to not use a moisturizer and to use um, Ultra Sun, which then is com moisturizer, foundation, and sun cream all in one. Uh, I've already got moisturizer on today, so I've, so I've chosen the HelioCare. But I'll link those both down below. So a little bit of the HelioCare, and this is, there you see, we've got the color. Um, I'm going for a light color because these days we don't want a heavy tan, do we? We're not going for a heavy tan look. And also my skin, skin tone is light. So, but because we're looking for this to be our SPF, we've also got to make sure we're giving it a good application, you know, a good proper SPF application. So dotting that around, obviously, and you're not going to want to see me put my foundation on. So we'll just get through this quickly. When I say foundation on, obviously what I mean is the um, HelioCare sun cream tinted, uh, which is giving me a foundation look. And uh, well, that's good coverage, you know? I really, I do really, really do love this. And I've got, still got a bit on my hand, but and now, obviously, it's sun, it, it's sun cream, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to use it, because why, why waste it? Just make sure I've got really good coverage on my face. That is a decent foundation look, isn't it? It's a decent foundation look. Well, obviously, the next thing to do is, um, it's gonna be a blusher, but what I'm using is a blusher that I can combine as a lip color as well. So this is by Code Beautiful, and I'm going for a color called uh, Peach Moonstone today. Gonna dab it on my cheeks there, and then just use a brush just to sort of blend it in. They do several colors of this uh, blusher. And what I do like about it is that we can then use it as lip color as well. I'm keeping that open because I am gonna use this for lips too. So for my eyes, I'm, as I said, no concealer. I have just put eye cream on. I would take eye cream with me separately. I'm not gonna use something like this on my eyes. Um, but I'll take a pencil like this, or one of these uh, crayon -y type eyeshadows, and this is Ayu, and uh, just slick it on. I mean, there's plenty of these around as brands, isn't there? Just, just slick that on. But I can link all this down below for you, obviously. And this is a bronze color, which does for day and night, so I don't need to double up by taking night eyeshadow. And, and then she's gonna get, just get, give yourself a smoky eye, and that's it. You don't need to go, you know, your layers of different eyeshadows and so on. All you want to do is give yourself some depth, isn't it? So, and, and really, you're gonna be wearing sunglasses unless you're indoors anyway. So, you know, eyeliner, I do like an eyeliner. Um, can't get away with that, without that. So I'm taking, I would take, say, uh, Sephora's turquoise 12 hour and that's what you want you know an eyeliner that's going to last a while and this one is called waterfall so uh I like to tight line so I just tight line latest in the UK I don't know if you've noticed but actually Sephora branches are popping up now the feel unique I think that's what it's called feel unique um shops are now converting and when I was away I actually did go into Sephora and I bought three more of these 12 hour eyeliners because I like them I um I took three up to the counter and it came to 13 pounds something. Just 13 for three eyeliners. And I had heard really good things about Sephora's own brand eyeliners, the 12 hour ones. So that's why I bought this one online to test it. Liked it so much when I saw the shop, had to go in and buy, you know, buy some more. So I bought another one in this color and I bought two other colors. I know that, you know, some say don't wear eyeliner underneath the eyes. I think eyes are just prettier with eyeliner, but I'm just gonna go for a light one, not a heavy one. So that's why I've done, you know, this waterfall color underneath the eyes, but you can see how without mascara, my upper eyes have, there's more definition. You know, you can notice them, the eyes are looking prettier. So I will, will have an eyeliner with me. Mascara, let's just do mascara. So I'm using Code Beautiful's mascara here and, um, I know this lasts the day, um, doesn't clump, and is a, is a good mascara to... So I just put this on. This is how I would do it away, just sort of, you know, a quick, quick brush. And finally, it would be lips. I would use a lip liner, 
because then that's keeping colour on your lips longer. I use Code Beautifuls because it, I know this lasts on the lips and it also acts as a um, lip plumper as well as a liner and as well as a colour. So Code Beautifuls lip liner and I'm applying it as a lip liner but also if you go like that in vertical lines then press your lips together that activates the plumper. So I said that then the blusher, if I wanted to put some lipstick on my lips, one, one option would be then to take this blusher, which is the Code Beautiful blusher, and um, just, you know, put that colour over, over the lips. Then you can carry this around in your bag all day, can't you? Because you can just top up your lips and your cheeks. Da -da 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 -da. I'm just going to interrupt to say I am wearing this top because I wanted to show you it because I bought it while I was away and I bought it in a sale. It's available in the States and the UK. It's not going to be available for long. So if you're interested in this blouse I'm wearing, which has got a nice sort of um, flattering Henley neckline, this is a flattering design, these splotches, because it's not exactly animal print. It's not at all animal print, really, no. And it's a flattering subdued colour with a bit of black mixed in. So it's sort of quite a, sub, uh, you know, a versatile, uh, colour arrangement and also a cap sort of cap sleeves here so it covers up bits and pieces at the top there so um link that down below so the toiletry front what i don't take i don't take an electric toothbrush i just take one of these lightweight toothbrushes you know what these look like yeah basic lightweight toothbrush i don't take a tube of toothpaste not even the mini ones because even that is too much you're not going to use all of that are you just in a few days so i use these tiny little pots and decant toothpaste into into a tiny little pot like that and then you just dip your toothbrush in and so on. And that just that does for a few days too. For um, my face, I take those Olay. Oh, I'm going to show you these. Now that's a box. I don't take the box. It's Olay Daily Facials. And what I do is just for the, for the number of days I'm going to be out there, I just take a few out of here. And they're, they're just a sheet like this. That's all. So I take three or four of those. And they're already impregnated with Olay's uh, cleanser. So all you need to do once you get there is um, put it on, run it under the tap and you've, then you've got a foamy cloth to cleanse your face and wash your face off in the, in the evening at the end of the day. They're lightweight, they're not liquid. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful invention. The other thing I've, I've surprised myself and abandoned this year has been packing cubes because I swore by them before. And I think if I was going on a big holiday with a big suitcase, they would still be great because then you can pack tops together and bottoms together or pack for day, certain days. Um, or you need to get dressed quickly somewhere like you're away for work. Then packing cubes are great because you've got your, your day's outfit, including I would pack my underwear, my belts, the jewellery I was going to wear, the whole kit and caboodle in a, a single cat packing cube for that day. So I knew that I had an outfit for a conference or for a seminar or whatever I was doing for work. For casual packing, I think they just take up space. Now, in a, in a small carry-on where you want to keep things condensed, they take up space because you can't get things tucked in. You know, they, so, so then there's less, flex, less, flex, less flexibility to get your bits and pieces all tucked into the available space when you're using a packing cube. So I kind of abandoned those. As I mentioned, evening wear, lots of evening wear. I, you know, when I went for my conference, when I traveled to uh, the Channel Islands, I didn't take evening wear. Because, as I said earlier on, unless you actually know, and there are, you know, a restaurant's been booked, you know you're going to go out for a dinner and you actually want to smarten up, unless you're going to do that, and know you're going to do that, people don't change. People don't dress up now. So, at home I do, I like to do that, but if I'm trying to condense my packing, perhaps it's something you can leave behind. A trick I've often used when I've been away, and we are going to go out to eat, would be to um, use the top for the evening, if I wanted to change, change into a top for the evening that I'm going to wear the next day. Because if you've only worn it for an evening the day before, then you can easily wear it all day the next day. And that's a handy, handy uh, tip just to change up your evening outfit. So this was just three days and I could have made an extra outfit out of this for sure. I, the colourful striped t-shirt with the joggers. I could have, if I wanted to, added that as well on top. That would have been another outfit. If I was going to go for four days, five days, six days, if I would add one other pair of trousers, one other top, because then you can mix and match again amongst this lot. Maybe with six days, you would add two. I, don't, I wouldn't double up if I was doing six days versus these three days, because by adding more in, you've got more versatility. 
that I do have a website and I have learned how to create a QR code. So this is the QR code for my website. Do scan that. I keep that up to date with um, items that you're loving. And then uh, also uh, to subscribe to me, scan this QR code because uh, you might be watching on TV and therefore the easiest way to subscribe to me is scan that.